good afternoon chairpersons president nsi past presidents it's indeed a very special day for me uh, having my special relationship with him uh, i now now call upon dr ganpati to talk about professor brm as a teacher i think although he never taught me he would interact with all the juniors from all over the country at all nsi meetings and i have very vivid and fond memories of conversing with him and learning from him uh, i thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity 300 seconds is absolutely insufficient to even introduce professor b ram murthy as a teacher personally i do not think he was just a teacher he was an institution par excellence and you can see here some of the articles which have been written about him now these are just some photographs but i would like to communicate with you my personal experience of what i had the privilege of having studied under him for the first two and a half years and subsequently of course i did keep in touch with him which professor 29 years older than you would take the trouble of sending a communication in the pre uh, computer era with a typewriter dear ganapati heartiest congratulations on the article published and delighted you are keeping the flag of india etc this reflected the man the, he was a teacher extraordinary he was lavish in his praises but at the same time he would use expletives which even a sailor would make blush he did not he was not a professor of neurosurgery who taught the nuances of operative surgery who taught neuroanatomy neurophysiology how to diagnose how to treat when not to operate etc that was for ordinary mortals like us as our president vp singh so beautifully described in fact for a minute i thought uh, vp that you had somehow got into the brain of dr ramurthy and extracted all the information stored in his brain exactly what you spent 15 minutes in describing that was what dr ramurthy showed us day in and day out to him neurosurgery was not a subject it was not a super speciality it was it was an avocation it is a way of life and that is what we have learned we i to quote i remember don quick sort the man from la mancha to reach the unreachable what is the exact word? i forgot to reach the unreachable uh, to reach the unreachable stars see no matter how far etc that was his, you know that was what would drove him on the passion which he exhibited was absolutely tremendous just look at this i mean i'm not going to read through all this and we were looking after 64 patients in the fifth floor and the fourth floor and the sixth floor and one day i just broke down and i said sir i just can't remember all this and one hour later he called me and i thought that was the end of my stay and then he appointed me as a senior research fellow in indian council of medical research on a project on head injury this was the man there was no stipend at that time i mean i could give dozens and dozens of illustrations when he went out of his way to ensure that everyone was very well looked after i remember the health minister coming on a surprise visit an additional professor was not there and dr ramurthy without blinking an eyelid told the minister i have sent him to the university for some work he would never ever let down his staff but after the event was over he would call us and bombard us completely we learned a way of life that is what exactly we learned just i mean i think every one of these pictures depicts he was a multifaceted personality he was not a bookworm he was as adept with glen morgan i mean his hand as he was with dancing as and look at that i think he was a septuagenarian at the time he was absolutely familiar with computers learning this at the age of 70 75 with email etc he was a student for his entire life and that was a message he conveyed to us he told us very clearly do not treat I was the last neurosurgeon who was trained before the CT scan came. Do not treat a patient with ventricular findings or pneumoencephalogram. Treat the family. Treat the human being. Do not treat a shadow. This was what he told us. Empathize with the patient. Sympathize with the patient. Get into the mind of the recipient. Find out what he wants. And there are dozens of illustrations I remember where he advocated no surgery because he felt it was better the patient died with the tumor so that he would get pension for a few more months. this was the man he was all about i mean i could go on and on but i actually would break down i think horace this is what he said i have built a monument more lasting than bronze higher than the pyramids regal structure i do not think dr ramurthy just 
came here, was born and he died. I think he visited the planet Earth and to, to most of us who had the privilege and honor of working under him. And before I conclude, one last illustration I would like to give. When I started stereotactic radio surgery in 95, five patients he referred to me. And I had the audacity to say they are not suitable. Suddenly I realized, my God, what the hell am I doing? I am a junior, very junior person and telling. Then I went to his house, his clinic. I said, sir, I am extremely sorry, sir, but based on my theoretical knowledge, I think these patients you referred are not suitable. He stood up, came, patted me on the back and he said, Professor Ganapati, I now know that I can refer all my patients to you. This is what I want, he said. Who will, which professor today will refer patients 30 years junior to somebody and take their opinion? This is the man. To me, he will always be a teacher. I thank you, sir, for all that you did to me.